All right. I stand the chance of somebody like seeing this video and they'll, they'll like take it and they'll put it on some group, which happened to me very recently where they said her nose is red or her eyes are bloodshot. She must be on drugs or something. <laughs> I hate that people are like that, but at the same time, I'm like, did you know that I had to like take off this sweater so that I was gonna try to look skinnier because I'm on some medicine that is making me like blow the heck up? <laughs> like, like, I'm not even really eating like as much as I normally do. And it just makes me blow up, but I'm alive and I'm here to like see what my friends are saying and I'm here to like take care of my husband and my children and I wouldn't like pass that up, you know? So I'm just gonna chance it. The last time I did a video like this, I got all kinds of crazy sh shiz <laughs> like people like put it on all these different social media sites and they said that I was like you know on drugs or something because of the way I looked and I'm like holly you know I'm I don't know I I didn't really I tried not to like reach out and say a whole lot because when you do when you respond it only just kind of escalates all that chatter and makes it worse but quite honestly y'all I just I have been on social media since 2009 and um, I have like I feel real friends here and I can feel sometimes whenever someone is like not okay Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I don't think I am. I can feel it and and I just really care and so tonight I just want to I just want to say Thank you to all of the ones who have been with me since then and uh, there's a girl in Arlington, Virginia near DC that I I'm really thinking about tonight and just praying for her and just sending all the energy I can like muster up tonight. I'm actually cooking lamb tonight and I hate the smell of lamb. Normally I would be like, okay, we've got some lamb chops. You have to cook it. And I would tell my husband he's got to cook it outside because there's something about that smell and like goat cheese and all I can't deal with. So I'm sacrificing tonight and I am, you know, praying for this friend. I don't want to mention her name. I don't think that she would be good with that. But, um, yeah, I mean, when anybody comes to me and tells me that they just, you know, just like not happy, oh, like, it is so important, it is really important every day to try to find some kind of a balance, some kind of way to be happy, some kind of way to, to balance the anything negative that has come into your life with a happy thought, <laughs> somebody does something good. I mean, you, you can change. You can change everything by the way that you think about it, by the way you view what is happening to you. And uh, I have been very sick. <laughs> and today, the sun was shining. I just pointed out there because that's where my windows are, but now it's dark out there. But today, the sun was shining and I chose I was gonna go to the grocery store, but I was like, that would be a waste of my time because the sun is out, I have been sick, and I can order Instacart and they will bring it to my house and it's worth the tip 
and I tip good. For me to like be outside and basking in that sunshine, getting that vitamin D and um, grounding. Um, remember that, like, I know not everybody can afford that. So maybe that's where we need to go with this. Like we need to take care of people. Like if you, if you know people that are like shut in and they maybe can't, they're like, I don't, you know, the only thing I can get is what I can get, like from what's, you know, what they can get when they finally get out. If you know those people, you live in these neighborhoods and you can bless them with groceries. I don't know, just a, just, just, you know, just a little thought. I don't know, just say, today is a sunny day. Enjoy the sunshine and I'll take care of the rest for you. I wish everybody would do that because there's so many of us that are blessed. Like we can, we can get out, we can go and like, we can go to restaurants and we can, there are so many people that can't though. And you know, that's depressing when I think about it because when, I, when I'm sick and I have to stay at home all the time, like I can get really depressed, but at the same time, like I'm able to order, like I'm able to get Instacart to bring me groceries. Well, a lot of people can't. So think about those people, think about that. Like, think about your neighbors who maybe can't afford that, don't know how to do that, you know? Um, and bless them with groceries. Just maybe go through and like, sit on their front porch with them and say, what do you like? Like, we're not all gonna like the same thing. So what you m might wanna bring them might not really bless them. Bless them with what they love, you know? Like, if they want, like, frozen burritos all day long, bring them some frozen burritos. <laughs> Have them delivered to their house. I don't know where I'm going with this. I got on a crazy tangent. But it was all because a friend of mine, I've never met in person, but we have tweeted together for years. And she is in, up in, like, near D.C., and she just said, she just kind of sent up like a, a message just to kind of saying that she's not okay. And it just got me to thinking like, and I know that she doesn't drive, like she doesn't have a car and, and she doesn't have like what I have, like where I can just walk outside and go in the woods and like hug my dog and like let the sun shine on me, you know? She's, I don't, I don't think she has a porch or a balcony even. So, it just got me to thinking about how a whole lot of people don't have even like a tenth of what I have. And if we could all just kind of think about our neighbor, you know, and, and not judge, and who cares if all they want are like frozen hamburgers. <laughs> you know, if somebody told you that, like, go get them all the frozen hamburgers. You know you can afford it. There's so many of you that can. And, you know, make somebody's day better. I love all of you. <coughs> I'm coughing right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna cry. But anyway, I love all of you and um, just be blessings. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. All right, love, that's what we're supposed to do, love. Okay.